Welcome back, Zero K fans, to game two to Nakano and Google Frog in this friendly little best of three, which is on Titan. Do what was Isle of Grief? Sorry about that. That was Zed last game, not I not Isle of Grief. I I was testing some stuff to do with the bottom bar, and I set it to Isle of Grief and not Zed. That was Zed. This is Titan Duel. Next match is Isle of Grief. Oh, well, I guess I kind of spoiled this match. Oh well, let's see what happens anyway. So, Google Frog is going to be... Well, I shouldn't necess necessarily spoil this match. They just played three matches. I don't know if it was meant to be a best of three or... I'm pretty sure it was meant to be a best of three. It might have been meant to be a best of five, actually. They just played three matches. So, I actually don't know what the score is. Anyway, Akunim and Google Frog are... Okay, so Shield... Whoa, what? Shieldbot versus Light Vehicle. Okay, so I was half right... Kind of glad we didn't see Hovercraft, though. The scalpels are starting to piss me off. But I did not expect shields. So Aquanim is going to be going for a very slow haul game. A slow, actually, slow long haul game. That's apparently what they're planning to do, because they do not have mobility at all. I mean, of the bot factories, Shieldbot has some of the lowest mobility. Although I suppose fighters actually have the lowest ground speed, but... Yeah, in terms of where they can go and what they can do quickly, Shieldbot's basically on the bottom. And we're on a vehicle map. So this is going to be interesting, but it's going to be very slow push oriented, I'm sure. Google Frog, however, going for more typical light vehicles. I mean, this map is probably just at the size threshold where you can play vehicles versus bots, and both players have a decent shot. But it's not one I'd recommend playing bots on. Hmm... Well, at any rate, this is... This is going to be interesting. Shieldbot versus Life Vehicle is another matchup I don't see very often. A lot of Shieldbot matchups haven't really been explored, to my knowledge. Not that I've seen, anyway. I've seen some Clogie versus Life Vehicle, but not many. But not much Shield versus Life Vehicle, so... So far, un unsurprisingly large amounts of bandits. I mean, it's a map of this size. You pretty much have to be on raiders for the first five minutes of the game. But Google Frog going heavy on darts. I guess they figure that they're just going to beat on speed. Just win by speed. Don't worry about raw damage too much. No, actually, they're going for it. They're trying to basically act like daggers. I mean, I've mentioned before, darts by damage are half a dagger. Like, two darts are a dagger, but it takes three daggers to one-shot a bandit, so it takes six darts. Actually, five darts, but still, because they're a little over 50 damage. 55 damage, yeah, so it takes five darts to one-shot a bandit, and darts cost, like, half a bandit. So it takes a little while for the bandits to actually not be cost-effective in that matchup, if at all. So I think this is mainly scouting and mainly harassment. And Google Frog just got unlucky at this point. Google Frog mostly aware of what's going on there. Akadem doesn't have much radar coverage. They have their quarter of the map, and that's it. Google Frog has a forward radar, at least a fairly front-facing radar in their main base. They have more knowledge of what's going on, but mainly it's from scouting. But Akadem at this point, I'd say, has actually got a pretty good position. At least for their main combat units. I mean, their bandits are in position. It's going to be something where they have to actually fight out of these these Scorchers. If these Scorchers kill the bandits, they're kind of done. But if the bandits are able to get rid of the Scorchers, then the bandits are going to be in such a good position that Akinem can basically just expand willy-nilly behind that. They won't have to worry at all about being attacked. And this is the moment of truth! How is this going to go? Is it going to go? Hard to say, those Scorchers really don't want to go out. I mean, facing these bandits is a little... Yeah, it's 95 damage per second compared to 420 health and 31... Yeah, I don't know. It's really a matter of distance. As it always is with bot versus... Or most things versus Scorcher. Like, any raider versus Scorcher, it's always a matter of how far away from the Scorcher are you. Because that heat ray. That heat ray and its damage by distance property. Aquanim's still not totally confident. They do have a Roach on the way. Probably going to try to use that to tr tilt the battle very much in their favor. But at this point, Google Frog actually hasn't been building that much. In fact, their economy is fairly weak. 
They haven't been getting a lot of metal extractors. It looks like they're trying to just break out of this and then smash up as much as they can of Akinum's base. But Akinum right now, well, they haven't gotten much in the way of static defense. They have a few Lotuses here and there, but that's about it. And Akinum, uh, are they going to take it out? Ooh, it's hard. I mean, they're... Their bandits are going to need to be fairly close together, and they're going to want to hit the side of the line. And they are in the side of the line. Two of the bandits do go down at no cost to the Scorchers. Three bandits down, no Scorchers down. Akinum already starting to falter, but that Roach just needs to get in position. However, it looks like Google Frog trying to go over to the north, and that's where it's going to be a problem. That, that Roach is totally out of position. Further south, right here, that is not where it should be. Not right now, and that's... More harassment coming in from Google Frog, and at the same time, another dart coming in because why not? And that Roach, still not here. The bandits, however, able to start getting, they're able to start picking off some of the scorchers. But that's not enough. Like, there's still how many scorchers are there? Eight scorchers in total. Nice racketeer. Good thing that's there. But the Roach has been spotted. Google Frog, well aware of this. Or no, they're not. They walked right into it. There we go! Aquanim takes that fight with the Roach. That's what they wanted the entire time. Get that Roach into position and actually take out the Scorchers. At this point, Aquanim can just not quite steamroll into Google Frog's base, but Aquanim has had a production advantage most of this game, or at least an economic advantage. Not necessarily production, they need more power, but they have had an economic advantage. And these bandits are now pretty much free to just rush in and start tearing everything apart. So this is going very nicely for Akinum. That was a really well done Roach. I thought that Roach was spotted by Google Frog, but apparently it wasn't. Apparently Google Frog just missed it. And that is a big deal. Because now Google Frog, I mean, they're desperately trying to get their army rebuilt and get a large enough army to deal with the bandits. But getting that is going to be tricky. I'm, I'm a bit surprised they haven't gone for levelers yet. Just to crowd control the bandits. But no, they're continuing to go for Scorchers. Gonna try to use the speed and range, apparently. Not gonna try to use the heat rate damage, because that would be suicide. Get them too close. But the range difference isn't that big. I mean, that's a range of 245 compared to a range of 270. So the range difference is so small that it's pretty much not gonna help out. Except a little bit here and there, but not very much. At this point, just letting Akinum try to... Well, trying to let Akinum hang themselves, but that's not happening. Akinum being very smart, throwing in only a few bandits, not throwing in their entire army, allowing them to get in some nice hits while only potentially sacrificing a handful of units. Nowhere near their entire army. Losing the Racketeer, or potentially losing the Racketeer. Ooh, that disarm. That several seconds of disarm. Neutralizing the Scorcher completely. And Akinum following up nicely with the gunships. Very good follow-up there. Google Frog still on the ropes. They are starting to get levelers up. They do have their crowd control going, but now they need to deal with anti-air. And are there any anti-air defenses? There are some defenders. There are no razors. Defenders are it. And there's no crashes around. Oh, no, sorry. There is a crasher. There is a crasher coming up. That's about it. And Akinum not focusing too much on air, so that will be fine. One crasher will do the job. Akinum is much more focused on ground, and the levelers are in place. Those bandits have got to be really careful. They cannot clump up. But Akinum seems not to really care, actually. Akinum seems quite pleasantly happy to have them clump up. I'm a bit surprised. The two crashers should do their job just fine. And Akinum not going for more air. And getting... Just continuing to keep Google Frog on the ropes. Not really allowing Google Frog any room to do anything. Although Google Frog did spot out one of the Roaches. They are aware of one of them. They aren't aware of... Well, actually, are there any others? No, there aren't. They aren't... There aren't any others. They aren't aware that there aren't any others, but there aren't. And at this point, Akinum, their army is still just doing fine. Their production is doing fine. They have twice the economy. They pretty much have this game. And that one Roach... That hero Roach pretty much gave Akinum the game. Now, Google Frog about to lose their commander... At the cost of how many workers? None of them? All of them? Sorry, not workers. Bandits. Cost of three bandits. Actually, a bit more than that, because the Scorchers did take out a few. But that's it. Google Frog throws in the towel. And now on to game three. So I guess I did spoil it. 
but I wasn't entirely sure because it could have been five game or best of five and not best of three. But no, it's best of three. Actually, if it was best of five, that would have also spoiled it because I said three games. So yeah, next game is up in the air. Who knows who wins next game? Although that was kind of interesting. I was curious how Akuna would win because they did seem. Well, I figured Akuna would win. They did seem a little bit behind, but then yeah, their economy was the entire the entire time pretty much their economy was ahead. You know, I really wish I could hover over this and get time, like the values at the time I'm at for both for all players. That would be nice. If you're curious what I'm talking about, play any of Ensemble's games and look at how they do their endgame graphs. Like the best endgame graphs ever. But yeah, at this point, Google Frog, yeah, took took the most damage. Lost the most units. Yeah, Akadem was way more efficient the entire game. Except near the very, very, very end. That really was an efficiency game the whole time. Good to know, so Shieldbot is actually potentially viable, although I feel like that was in large part the Roach. I mean, Akadem did have a pretty decent position, but it was a bit of a stalemate position where Google, either player could have, taken, could have taken it at that point. I think Google Frog probably would have if it weren't for the Roach. Because the Scorchers... They're just that much more tough. They're just that much tougher. That little bit tougher. Could have rushed in, smashed up all the bandits. Like the bandits were relied a lot more on positioning than the Scorchers did. Anyway, that's that game. So we're going to move on to the last game of this series. Although, well, it's friendly best of three. Although I do have another game if I feel like adding another game to this cast. But for now, the last game is going to be on Isle of Grief, as I mentioned before this started. Which spoiled the entire thing. It is going to be on Isle of Grief. Stay tuned for that. There's a possibility, I don't know, but that is a map where you could possibly see spiders versus shield bots again. We might get to see that matchup more explored. Probably not though, probably will be jump bots. Anyway, back in just a moment or two. <laughs> 